Okay, now the next game here, this is, I think, the best game of all of them here. I, I only played it for like a minute, <laughs> but I can tell this is the best game. Landing Party, okay? Watch, watch how this works here. Okay, Starship Captain's Log. We use the last of the ship's power to achieve orbit around a planet which reports to have an energy crystal mine. Our orbit is rapidly decaying without energy crystals to regenerate engines we will crash on the planet's surface. I plan to pick five of my best crew, crew members and use the last of the energy reserve to transport down to the planet's surface. So I'm Captain Stu. So these are my crew. These are my crew. Now I get to pick five of these people, basically, to take with me on the landing party, and everybody else, I guess, dies in the crash. <laughs> And I read the I read the uh, the instructions a little bit. Apparently, um, you want to have people that with one of three things: either good hand to hand combat, good uh, shooting ability, or good negotiation skills. So, like the obvious choice, take Kirk, McCoy, and Spock, right? But I'm actually not going to take McCoy because I don't think McCoy has any capabilities that will help me in this game. I mean, theoretically, he can heal people, but from what I see, they just just die. Yeah, it hops your key. I don't think this is the love boat. I think this is uh, <laughs> some kind of Star Trek game. So I took Kirk and Spock. Oh, well, I guess Luke is, is Luke Skywalker. I'll take him. Um, let's see, who else should I take? I think Dirty Harry is a really good shot, so I'll pick Dirty Harry. Um, maybe should I take the Karate Kid? I, I don't know. I think I want to take somebody else who could shoot. So, like, what are these people? Like, how about Jesse James? Take Jesse James. All right, so that's my crew. Stu, Kirk, Spock, Luke, Dirty Harry, Jesse James. And the way this works is I have 300-something money, and there's 15, basically, steps to the mine. Every st step I'm going to encounter something, and it's completely random, and I don't, like, I never, I don't, no, it's not Smash Brothers. I don't, I don't, like, I don't I've never encountered a vampire. I only played this once before. So, like, I don't know what you do with a vampire. Open fire, hand combat, negotiate, retreat. If you retreat, I think the chances are very high you get killed. But a vampire, I mean, I don't know if I can even kill a vampire. Let me try open fire. See, it doesn't work on vampires. <laughs> I don't think hand to hand combats work on vampires. Uh, maybe negotiate. He wants blood, of course. You have to leave someone. No. So now what? I, I, I mean, what should I do? Hand-to-hand -hand combat or retreat? What do you guys think? I'm pretty sure retreat's going to get me killed. But I'll, I'll try it if, if you want me to try it. What do you think? Quad chat. I can't believe two people like left during this during this game, which is which is like such an awesome game. You, just have, to, you have to give it a chance. What do you guys think? I'll give you like 10 more seconds, then I'm just going to pick something. Fly, you fool. All right, retreat. Ugh, turning into a bat, he swoops out of bite Spock. See, I told you, like, basically you get killed when, they, when you flee. So Spock is not dead, though, but he's probably going to die, I'm assuming. All right, but I still, I still didn't make any progress. This is to mine 15. That was a party of four unfriendly aliens. All right, they tell me they're unfriendly. Let me just open fire. Stu fires and misses. Kirk fires, hits one. Spock fires, hits one. Luke fires and hits one. Dirty Harry fires and hits one. All right, so that, they're all dead. Spock deserts. <laughs> so he was bitten by a vampire, so now he's gone, I guess, because he, he's probably turning or something. So now I'm going to probably encounter him. Great. All right, it's a Femessi. It has nine sticky ears, bloody teeth, a limpid beak, and a bloody tail. It is 13 feet high. It is not armed and appears friendly. All right, let's negotiate. Pick a negotiator. How about Kirk? I don't know. Is Kirk a good negotiator? Or is he going to be like, just blow him away? Risk is our business. Uh, I'll, just, I'll negotiate myself. Why don't you go back the way you came? No. Let's have Kirk negotiate. Maybe he's a better negotiator. He wants your help in a, overcoming a more powerful enemy. Yes or no? All right, I'll do yes. It's a lay heck. It has nine puffy eyes, slimy gills, a wooden nose, and it's 21 feet high. Is not armed. Let's just let's shoot it. Stu hits it. Kirk misses. Luke hits it. Dirty Harry hits it. Dirty Harry should everything. Jesse James hits it. Your strength compared to the enemy is 56 to 1. You totally overpowered the enemy. All right, good. All right, so I, I made it one more step. Oh, I, I got this guy in my party now. The Femessi, whatever he is. So I lost Spock. I have the Femessi, whatever that is. A colony of 15 giant ants. Uh, 
I guess open fire. <laughs> I guess we can shoot multiple ants. All right, cool. We got them all. Now what now? It's a gambling casino. So I the last game I got a, I tried negotiating. It made me I basically played and I and I like I got lost or I killed. I mean I'll try that again. That's what you should do. Like I shouldn't open fire in a casino, right? You can stay or leave. I want to leave. Jesse James deserts and goes back to the casino. I should have known that was going to happen, right? <laughs> it's, it's 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 very complex. I don't know like how this works behind the scenes, but like it seems like there's a lot of variables here. It's a dakes. It has six square legs, limpid gills, a watery beak, and a fat hide. Sixty feet high is not hard if he's hostile. Let's shoot him. I suck. Oh, Kirk sucks too. Luke hits it. Good. Use the force, Luke. 5.1 to 1, and we killed him. All right. So, that's, so 10 more steps here. Oh, great. A mind-enslaving race of alien life forms turns Dirty Harry against you. Dirty Harry is now your enemy. How about how you hand-to-hand combat against him? He probably can't stand that. All right. Well, I guess I killed Dirty Harry. But I, I lost him. The Femessi was injured, but who gives a damn about the Femessi? A pack of three hungry lions. All right, definitely open fire. Oh, I subdued a lion. All right. <laughs> Kirk shot a lion. Luke shot a lion. And me and Femessi will subdue the lion. I, I, I'm, I'm much tougher than I thought. All right, eight more steps. Oh, <laughs> I subdued the lion, but I'm up to down to 40% health. So I think that uh, I didn't do too well. Is a colony of penguins negotiate? They follow you around. Oh, now I have two penguins helping me. All right, that's cool. All right. So far, the only people that survived in these part in this party is me, Kirk, and, and Luke. A worm shamble. What's a worm shamble? Let's shoot it. I hit it. It hurls a worm ball that hits penguin. Who cares? I did. It's not dead. Maybe I should retreat. I don't think the hitting it did anything. I don't, I'll try to retreat. All right, that seemed to do something, but I don't know if I got. I don't think I made any progress. A group of seven bandits negotiate. Kirk did well last time. Let's let Kirk negotiate. Oh, negotiations have been successful. All right, cool. So I have one more, six more steps to the mine. Eighteen giant ants. So shooting worked last time. Oh no! I shot two, Kirk shot six, Luke shot three, but seven ants converged. With I forgot, like all my other shooters are gone. That I, I'm almost dead. I'm only twenty percent health. Maybe I should have taken Doctor McCoy after all. Oh, trading post. You have three hundred credits. Buy new guns for hundred credits. Sell your guns for hundred credits. Hire a guide for two hundred credits. Move on. Uh, well, I want to buy new guns. Are my guns out of bullets? I mean, I don't know. Should I hire a guide? Should I hire a guide? I have no idea what that does. I don't think McCoy can restore health. He didn't restore health like when I actually took him the first time. All the guides are gone today. Ugh, that sucks. All right, I'll buy more guns then. You now have new weapons. All right, move on. What else can I do? Three female sirens sing from a distant rock. Uh, can I shoot? Should I shoot them? Can I shoot them? Do the penguins have guns now? Since I bought guns, let me see if I try to shoot them. I mean, I should retreat, really, but Stu hits one. Kirk misses. Luke misses. They're so paralyzed, the others drag them away from there. Uh, what does that mean? And they're still with me. All right. It's a Kadixi. It has seven B legs, fiery feet, a sticky beak, and a pale skin. It's 21 feet high. It's armed and appears friendly. All right. Let's negotiate then. Let's try Kirk. You go in peace. All right. So, but I didn't get any closer. I'm still three away. One of the penguins is almost dead. A 30 foot giant guarding a treasure chest. Uh. I want to kill him, but, like, Stu's very weak. Let's see if I can negotiate. The giant says you can go. Penguin has died. 
Why did Penguin die? Because he was too weak. It's a Xyler. It has five warty ears, flabby hands, a black skull, and a frozen hide. It is 18 feet high. These things are freaking big. It is not armed. Uh, I'll negotiate. How about let the Femeki negotiate with the Xyler? It wants Femeki. <laughs> yes or no? Sure, you can take Femeki. It devours <laughs> That's awesome. So wait a second. The Fumeki negotiated with this guy, and the, what the guy wanted is to eat the negotiator, which he just did, and now the penguin is also deserted. Who gives a damn about the penguin anyway? All right, we have Stu, Kirk, and Luke. Only one more thing to the mine. What happens after I get there? It's a Ludoa. Ten red legs, watery teeth, a yellow snout, a lumpy tail. It's 40 feet high, and his arm appears friendly. Let's negotiate since it appears friendly. Kirk wants to go with, what does that mean? Oh, wants to come with me. All right. So I'm at the mine now. Now what? I've reached the mine. I've saved the ship. Did I saved the whole ship or did it crash or what? But yeah, only three survivors, Stu, Kirk, and Luke. <laughs> well, who gives a damn about everybody else? We got the most important people. We got me, of course. We got Captain Kirk and we got Luke Skywalker. So, you know, I mean, who else needs to be around? So play again, let's say no, but I really like that game. I think it's a lot of fun, and I wouldn't mind playing it again maybe at the end of the stream. What did you guys think of that one? I thought that was, that, that to me was, was very original, very clever, very well, well programmed, just uh, a lot of fun from my perspective. All right, let's see what else we got.